Hey guys, and welcome to my newest uh, DVD update for today, uh, February 21st. It's almost been three weeks since my last update. Um, I've bought a few, but it hasn't been worth making a video about. But the two I bought today are pretty big, so I figured I'd just show you. Uh, first one I bought, uh, actually two weeks ago, went to the flea market of all places and found this brand new for 15 bucks on Blu-ray. <laughs> and that, of course, is Torchwood Children of Earth. Haven't watched this yet, because I am I am watching that right now. Um, but I will watch this pretty soon, because my friend Stacy, a.k.a. Happy Squirrel, on both here and Live Journal, and I'm putting her info up in the, the box, because she did her Doctor Who collection, and if you, if you think you're a fan, uh, I'm I'm nothing compared to what she's got. My God! But she told me to watch this in between the next Doctor and Planet of the Dead, so I plan to. Um, like I said in an early, earlier video, the video store by my house is closing down, so I picked up a bunch of, or not a bunch, well actually yeah, a bunch, <laughs> because I bought a couple for my parents. Um, I don't know if you've heard of them, but they're the Jesse Stone movies with Tom Selleck that they love, and I got them the, the rest of the series. And for me, I picked up, it's the R-rated version of the film, but you know what, I think I can deal with it, and that is Ang Lee's Lust Caution. Um, I saw this, and I know a lot of people had a, had a problem with the sexual content, and I'm like watching, I'm like, well, what, what, what's so bad about it? <laughs> but of course, I've seen a lot of movies that have this kind of stuff in it, this kind of scenes in it, and it does nothing really shocks me anymore. But this is a really good movie. It is kind of a, to me, a step down from how awesome Brokeback Mountain was. But it's still a very enjoyable movie. Um, I blind bought uh, this, and I did get some crap from people on the DVD website because they were like, why did you get the Blu-ray? I said, because if this is nine bucks. There's a difference between paying like twenty-five and nine. And um, and note, this does have both the widescreen and full-screen edition, and that is trick or treat. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this because you know I think half of us have wanted to see it since um, the DVD for three hundred aired the trailer. Um, so yeah, I, I know people are mixed on this, but I've heard more good than bad, so I figured give it a shot. Um, and picked up this, which is very crazy, because I haven't even finished watching the first season yet, and I have the third season on Blu-ray, but at 20 $24 and... Uh, like I said, he's closing down. I figured I might as well pick it up, and that is the complete fourth season of Supernatural. Um, like I said, I'm watching Doctor Who right now, and, and this and Veronica Mars have been put on the back burner. But I really, really hope to get back into these, because now I've got all these, and, and the fifth season is, I think, still on, but I'm not sure. Um, and this one, I... I picked up yesterday because one of the Jesse Stone movies I bought my parents, they actually owned. It was just hiding in their DVD collection somewhere. And I spent ten minutes trying to find something, and this is the only one that stood out. And it is one that I like, and that is the unrated cut of Hitman. Um, I mean, it was basically free, since I paid for the Jesse Stone movie already. I like this movie. I think it's a really good, good, you know, B-action horror film based on a comic book. But, you know what, I liked it. I thought it was really cool. So, And these I picked up today, because uh, I've been I've been wanting to get some of the old ones for a while, but they are pretty pricey. But I found these, and I figured, fuck it, and the, they're the old, classic uh, Doctor Whos. And this one is one of the William Hartnell stories, and some um, keys of Mar... Inus, I think, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, it's story number five, um, and, uh, also note, 
I have ordered the beginning collection with uh, William Hartnell that has like the Unearthly Child from Amazon.ca because it was only 27 bucks and you buy it from Best Buy and it's like 49. I was like, ah! So I finally got one of the old Who episodes. I rule. But it's not the only one I bought. I also picked up The Deadly Assassin, which is one of Tom Baker's uh, episodes. Because I, I don't want to go in order. I want to get like one of each doctor. I, I know it sounds crazy, but you know what? I am crazy. And there was one particular one I really wanted. Um, it's called The War Games. It's one of the Patrick Troughton ones. And my friend Stacy, she loves it. It's, she says it's her favorite episode of all of them. The only problem is it's 45 bucks. I mean, the specials on normal DVD are that price. So, excuse the music, I'm in a funky mood right now. <laughs> so yeah, I've got two of the old who so I kick ass. Uh, so yeah, that's my little update. I'm sorry, I'm very much slacking on showing off my DVD collection. It's just, I'm lazy and I'm, I've been sick for the last couple of days, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, don't know what else to say. Hope you guys are having a very great weekend. Um, and, ah, uh, I need a, I've been up since 4 a.m., so <laughs> we'll blame my badness on, on that. Um, so yeah, I sh well, I'm not even going to promise that I will put up the video for the rest of my DVD collection, because I keep saying that I haven't done it. I've made more David Tennant videos than I have the bloody DVD collection videos. But not that anyone's bitching, <laughs> because those tend to get more views than my DVD collection. Odd, but you know what? Who cares? Everybody's enjoying everything I do, so yay. Yeah. Um, okay, so on that weird-ass rant note, <laughs> Uh, you guys, have, like I said, you guys have a very great weekend. Watch a shitload of movies. And as always, rate, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.